So I was thinking about this. <laughs> I mean, every day is just new shit, new shit, new shit all the time. Because, I mean, but it's it's new shit, but it's also the same shit, right? It's the same shit, just repackaged or just looked at from a different angle. So she's trying to defeat the patriarchy. Women are trying to defeat the patriarchy by being sexual. Okay. Because when it comes down to it, and I've said this for years, I've been saying this for years and years. When it comes down to it, the only power that women really have over men is sex. That's it. The only power women have over men is sex, period. They're not smarter than us. They're not physically more capable than us. They're not, you know, great leaders, great thinkers, great um, innovators, etc. Et no woman is ever like that. It's always the men. No woman is a Steve Jobs. No woman is a Bill Gates. No woman is a leader of a country. No woman is et cetera, et cetera, right? No woman is a Michael Jordan. No woman is a Usain Bolt. I mean, they just can't, they can't do what we do. They can't compete with us on any level. But what do they have over us? Sex. That's the only area that women beat men. That's it. They have more power than us when it comes to sex. And I'll be the first one to admit that. They just do. We, we have, they've figured it out or their biology is just such that whatever, for whatever reason, men chase women and women are the choosers. Women say yes or no and that's just the way it is. A woman could think you're the hottest guy and she won't approach you. She won't come talk to you. She won't chase you. Nine times out of ten. Now, if there's always exceptions to that. If you're the most incredibly hot guy she's seen in years, she's maybe going to try to come talk to you. But even then, out of 100 girls, I'd say only 20 would even attempt to. Because their personalities are such that they're just not, they're not like men. They can't do what we do. If they, and I, I've been saying this also for years, if women had to live in a man's shoes for a month, they'd commit suicide. There's just no way. They couldn't, as much as they say, quote unquote, that they don't like guys looking at them, they don't like the attention that they get. Oh, and, and as much as you, you know, every, every time you go out into a, a crowded place, you'll always see this girl with this like, with this certain look on her face, like, oh, I don't want to be looked at. I don't want to be talked to. I don't want. And it's just this. It's this classic, quintessential look that she has on her face. Her her eyes are down. She's kind of got this little semi frown. She, you know, the way she's walking is a little frazzled and fast. Like she doesn't want anybody to talk to her. And you can, you just get that vibe. There's always one of those girls anytime you go out. But the irony is, is that girl, if she had to live in a guy's life, she'd kill herself because that girl is thirsty for validation. That girl who says she doesn't want any, any guys looking at her. She doesn't want to talk to any guys. She's thirsty for validation because that's all they have at the end of the day. All they have at the end of the day is sex. They're not smarter than us. They can nine out of ten of them can't even hold a decent conversation because they don't need to. They don't have to adapt in that way. Have you ever tried to have an actual decent conversation with a girl? You just you can't do it. They're, they're always weird. They're always trying to like you know, be condescending towards you. They're, they're never interesting. They don't have anything interesting to talk about. And it's not that like, oh, I, you know, I want girls to be like the bros. I want her to be a bro. That's not it either. It's just they're not intelligent. They just, they don't, if you can find a girl that you can chill with and talk to and, you know, have an intelligent conversation, you might have found a winner because that's, that's the rarest thing. I've never met one. I've never met one. They're just different. Women are just different than us. They're not the same as men. They don't think the same as us. They're not the same. They're not the same. So any any of these dumb women who, you know, these, these, these dumb feminist women who think that 
Oh yeah, we're the same as men. We're going to smash the patriarchy. Besides sex, you have no choice. And that's why they're always using sex. That's why they're always using sex. Besides sex, they have nothing to offer. Sex is their only weapon against the patriarchy. This is why this is part of why sex is so hard to get. Part of why. Because they know this. No one knows it better than women. No one knows it better than women. They like to delude themselves with a lot of shallow ego talk, right? We're the same as me. And and they just it's just a it's an exercise in futility. It's just nonsense after nonsense. Oh, we're oppressed and all these lies and bullshit that they come up with. When in reality, the only thing they have over us is sex. And that's why whenever you argue with a feminist, nine out of ten insults that she says against you are how small your dick is, how you never get laid, how you're an incel, how um, you're in a relationship with your hand, no girl would ever want you. Woo woo woo, that's all they have. Nine out of ten insults, nine out of ten retorts, nine out of ten arguments are all ad hominem personal attacks against your sex life because that's all they have. Nothing else. Women think they're superheroes today because they're sexy and they're acting like this is my power because that's all they really, that's all their power really is. Not to say there's no individual women out there who haven't achieved anything. There are. But for the most part, by and large, all they have is sex.